So we have a situation over here where we have a building, we have a lot of construction going on. Um, there's a new owner and the old owner said that there was a line that was running from the main building back over here. It was once a water spigot, it had leaked. Uh, they don't know if the line had leaked, but we need to find out where that line is. We know it's buried underground. We're in this area over here. We'll pan out, we'll show you. So again, we have a building up front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hook our pulse generator up to that building. We're gonna get this line pounding. We're gonna listen, try to trace it all the way back over here till we can't hear it anymore. Check it out and see how we do it. So we're hooking up our PG2 to the cold water side, just out of a regular hose spigot. And note, everything that's tied to that cold water side is going to be tapping. What we're trying to do is get it tapping and now we're listening with our equipment underground. We're running it back here until a point where it goes from under asphalt to under dirt. We're using our soil probe. We could use our soil probe on asphalt, but we also have an attachment disc for listening under hard surfaces. Again, we're tracing that line. We're running it back. We're actually going to drop down over here and we're going back to asphalt. Again, take a listen to the sound and hear what it sounds like. Working our way back, listening. The noise is cutting out about here. So now the last place we're hearing it was right up here where we're going to dig it out. We're going to dig it out now. We're going to expose it. And here it is. You'll see we have a line, it's one inch line that's capped off. We got roots growing around it, but we determined that that line is not leaking and we're gonna put it back in service. So this is the manifold that we hooked up to. We figured out that this line right here, even though it's PVC, we were able to trace it all the way back over there and find out where it capped off. Cause after the cap off point, we weren't hearing it anymore. Again, that's how we located this line, pressure tested it up. There's nothing wrong with the line. So now we can put it back in service. For more information, visit Leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.